Prince William's life seems like it is taken from the pages of a storybook. He is a prince of the royal family, and he has his own beautiful family. Royal life isn't always easy, though. Here's a closer look at just how tragic Prince William's life has truly been. Like most young royals, Prince William was sent off to boarding school at a young age. The experience was reportedly a difficult one for him at the beginning. As noted in the book Prince William, A Biography, the future king was sent to Ludgrove School when he was just eight years old. While his mother, Princess Diana, was reluctant to send him away, his father, Prince Charles, wanted to continue the family tradition of sending children to boarding school. William was reportedly quite lonely after first going away to school and missed his family. Diana is said to have been in tears when she dropped him off at school. While he was said to be homesick as he adjusted to his new life at school, William eventually grew accustomed to being away from home, although it'd seem he still missed his family. His mother regularly wrote to him, reportedly addressing her letters to My Darling Wombat. Prince William was not raised with the knowledge that he would one day be the King of England. Royal biographer Andrew Morton wrote in William and Catherine, Their Lives, Their Wedding, that before starting school, William, quote, genuinely had no idea that he was any different from anyone else. Prince William's schoolmates teased him about being the heir to the throne, and it was reportedly his brother, Prince Harry, who broke the news to him that he wouldn't be able to decide his future career. According to Morton, when William said once that he would like to be a policeman and look after his mother, Harry told him emphatically, you can't, you have to be king. Years later, it came out that William struggled with the responsibilities placed on his shoulders. Broadcaster Jeremy Paxman revealed in a 2019 documentary that Princess Diana had opened up to him about Prince William. William often told her he didn't really want to be king. And then Harry would say, well, if you don't want the job, I'll have it. The media was sent into a frenzy in November 1995 when Princess Diana gave a now infamous BBC interview. In the revealing Tell All, she spoke not only of her husband's infidelity with Camilla Parker Bowles, but she also admitted to an affair of her own. Did your relationship go beyond a close friendship? Yes, it did. His mother confessing to an affair with James Hewitt, an army officer, was especially hard on William. Historian Robert Lacey wrote in Battle of Brothers that Prince William watched the interview at school. His mother's quote, candid admission, tipped the teenager over the edge, leaving him feeling betrayed. Prince Charles had opened up on television the previous year about his own affair, and for his mother to then come out and speak about her infidelity left William in tears. He was so angered by the interview that when his mother called him after it aired, he refused to speak to her. Diana's spiritual healer, Simone Simmons, told Lacey, all hell broke loose. He was furious that she had spoken badly of his father, that she had mentioned Hewitt. Things came to a head the month after Princess Diana's tell-all interview aired in 1995. The relationship between Princess Diana and Prince Charles had become so strained that in December 1995, Queen Elizabeth II wrote letters to her son and daughter-in-law, ordering them to get a divorce. Charles and Diana's 1996 divorce was a bitter one, and it took a toll on Prince William. The book Prince William, A Biography, noted that while Prince William was accustomed to the strained relationship between his parents, their eventual divorce nevertheless left him, quote, traumatized. The greatest tragedy of Prince William's life has been the untimely death of his mother, Princess Diana. He was just 15 years old when she passed away in a car crash in 1997. In the BBC documentary Diana, Seven Days, Prince William recalled feeling, quote, completely numb disorientated and dizzy after learning of his mother's death. He said, You feel very, very confused, and you keep asking yourself, Why me? All the time, why? What have I done? Why? Why has this happened to us? You feel pain like no other pain, and you know that in your life it's going to be very difficult to come across something that's going to be even worse pain than that. Prince William never really got over his mother's death. In the BBC documentary Football, Prince William and Our Mental Health, he revealed that becoming a parent made his emotions from that horrifying time, quote, come back in leaps and bounds. The royal has felt his mother's absence keenly throughout his life, telling GQ that he wishes she was still here to give her advice and to meet his wife and children. 
In 1995, Prince Charles announced that he was marrying Camilla Parker Bowles. While Prince William was reported at the time to be happy for his father, Robert Jobson wrote in the 2006 book William's Princess that things were a little more complicated. Sure enough, privately, their mood was more one of acceptance than undiluted joy. Prince Charles and Camilla went public as a couple in 1999. Royal biographer Penny Juna wrote in her book The Firm that the reason Prince Charles waited so long to propose was out of concern for his sons. Charles and Camilla reportedly wanted to wait for William and Harry to grow up before giving them a stepmother. While Juna wrote that the princes liked Camilla enough, quote, accepting Camilla as a fixture in their father's life was reportedly not the easiest transition. Juna cited William and Harry's loyalty to their mother for their mixed feelings towards Camilla, writing that they were happy for their father but also knew you quote that Camilla was the cause of Princess Diana's terrifying unhappiness. While college is often regarded as a period of self-discovery and a time to adjust to adulthood, Prince William wasn't able to have a normal college experience. Joanne F. Price noted in Prince William a biography that the prince, quote, was given a say in which university he would attend, but that Prince Charles particularly wanted him to attend the University of St. Andrews. Before William headed off to begin his studies in 2001, his grandmother set down some strict instructions for him, which included, quote, no smoking, only moderate drinking, and definitely no drugs. Queen Elizabeth also forbade him to kiss a date in public. I think it's all about finding your way with the right people, the right support, close family around you to guide you. Notably, Prince William was required to be followed around by his personal police protection, and he was not even allowed to discuss his family with classmates. Although William was able to blend in reasonably well on campus and, quote, everyone was protective of the prince in their midst, he still drew a lot of attention, especially from the media. The prince had to be on constant guard against the tabloids. There's a true romantic in that. Prince William seems to have found his fairy tale happily ever after with Kate Middleton, but his road to love wasn't exactly the smoothest. Before he and Kate settled down, Prince William had his love life dragged through the press. As noted by the Evening Standard, Prince William was linked to more than half a dozen women before marrying Kate, including Davina Duckworth Chad, a family friend who was spotted with Prince William before he headed off to college. Prince William was also linked to Isabella Colthorpe, whose half-sister, Cressida Bonus, was involved with Prince Harry. While it certainly seems like Kate was the most serious of his girlfriends over the years, the ups and downs of their relationship were scrutinized by the press. In 2007, when Prince William and Kate were briefly broken up, a source told the Evening Standard that Prince William, quote, always had a roving eye, and that Kate had, quote, always known and accepted this. Prince William spent several years in the military, and for what he saw during his service impacted the rest of his life. The royal worked as an air ambulance pilot with the East Anglian Air Ambulance, and he has spoken about how difficult the job was. Speaking to senior paramedic Dawn Anderson at an event in 2018, William said of his military service, You're just seeing all the sad things, all the pain every day. I took a lot home without realizing it. At the 2018 This Can Happen conference, William said that seeing children involved in car accidents was particularly hard on him. The relation between the job and the personal life was what really took me over the edge. Prince William's military experience was part of his motivation in the mental health initiatives he has led over the years. As noted on the royal family's website, William is dedicated to promoting mental well-being and ending the stigma surrounding mental health. But ultimately, it's about extending that conversation and, and, and telling people it's okay to talk about it. Prince William has notably been quite open about his mental health. Not only has he talked about the impact his military service had on his mental state, but he has also talked about his anxiety. In the 2020 BBC documentary Football, Prince William and Our Mental Health, the royal opened up about his public speaking anxiety, saying that he has suffered from stage fright for years and would worry about how the people in the audience were reacting to his words. William joked about the ingenious way he found of dealing with his anxiety, saying that as his eyesight became poorer as he grew older, he couldn't see the faces in the audience clearly anymore. Since he didn't wear contacts while working, he could only see the speech in front of him and not the people listening to him speak. He explained, It helps because it's just a bit of a blur of faces. 
While Prince William has been happily married to Kate Middleton for years, for a time, it appeared as if things weren't well with the couple. A scandal erupted in 2019 when outlets reported that William was having an affair with Rose Hanbury, a family friend who was present at his wedding to Kate in 2011, as noted by the Daily Mail. While there was no evidence for the affair, the gossip nevertheless took a toll on William and his family. A source told Hollywood Life that Kate didn't believe the gossip, but that she and Prince William were quote, very concerned for Rose, as she was, quote, a married woman with children and not used to this kind of public scrutiny. In spite of the stress of the situation, William and Kate ignored the rumor, although their attorneys reportedly threatened legal action against outlets spreading it. Months after the rumors began circulating, a source told Us Weekly that it made the couple stronger, saying, It forced her and William to sit back and examine their relationship, which they realized they should have been doing more often. While Prince William and Prince Harry have always seemed to be close, rumors of a rift began to circulate after Harry began seeing Meghan Markle. According to royal historian Robert Lacey, though, the alleged falling out began well before Harry and Meghan got together. Lacey, the author of the book Battle of Brothers, William and Harry, the inside story of a family in tumult, told Entertainment Tonight, I would say that there were stresses and strains there before, and then with the advent of Meghan, that was what provoked the really big break. Lacey said he spoke to Ken Wolfe, who served as the bodyguard to the princes in their younger years. Wolfe claimed, William was always sort of jealous of the lovable rogue reputation that Harry had and the affection that he generated. While there's no doubt that the brothers cared deeply for each other, Lacey speculated that, quote, they're going in different directions. Prince Harry hinted at this himself in the 2019 ITV documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey. We're brothers, we're, we'll always be brothers. Um, we're certainly on different paths at the moment, but I will always be there for him and as I know he'll always be there for me. Prince William tested positive for COVID-19 in April 2020, but he kept the diagnosis secret for months. The Sun broke the news in November 2020, revealing that the royal was, quote, struggling to breathe during his illness. William came down with the virus days after his father, Prince Charles, but didn't reveal his diagnosis to the public so as not to cause alarm. He reportedly told someone at an engagement, there were important things going on and I didn't want to worry anyone. Fortunately, William made a full recovery and even carried out quite a few speaking engagements and other royal obligations via telephone and video calls during his illness, even though a source told the outlet that the prince, quote, was hit pretty hard by the virus. The prince was determined that everything remained, quote, business as usual, though, and the world never suspected that he was secretly battling a potentially life-threatening virus. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.